my name is Kelly Dell, and I am owner of Off the Beaded Path, which is located in Forest City, North Carolina. For today's video, I'm going to show you a project that I actually taught in my bead club class back in July, and everybody loved it. I call these earrings the peacock earrings because um, the back of them or the bottom of them looks like a spread out peacock feather. So, it's a really easy project. I think you're going to love these, and they're really quick, and they'll make really good gifts for the holidays. All you need for this project are two 8 millimeter round beads. These can be pearls. These can be Swarovski. These can be whatever you want them, but you just need two 8 millimeter round beads, and opaque colors or... Um, uh, dense colors look better. The see-through colors don't look as well when you're making these and you'll see what I mean as we go through the project. You're going to need about 14 size 11 seed beads, 2 grams of size 15 seed beads, a pair of ear hooks, a size 12 beading needle, and only about a yard and a half of fire line. I'm using 6 pound fire line. You can use 8 pound, but I probably wouldn't suggest going above that just for the pure fact that as you work, you're going to be going through 15s and it's going to get hard to kind of get through some of them if you're not careful. So that's all that you need to get started. So go ahead, get your uh, materials together and thread your needle onto half of your fire line. So here's the earring that I want to show you how to make today. As you can see, here is your 8 millimeter round. Your size 11 seed beads are here at the base of the round, and then all of my metallic purple are the 15s. So it's a very simple earring, very cute earring, and very quick earring. So here we go. I've got my needle threaded onto my fire line, and I'm going to go through my round. So today I'm going to use a creamy um, color. It's not white, but it's not completely cream either. So I'm going to pick up my cream and I'm going to go through this twice leaving a short tail. So I'm going to leave myself just a little bit of a tail and I'm going to come back through the bead again so that the thread wraps around the bead once and then I'm going to do that one more time so that it is there twice. Next, I'm going to pick up two 11s. So I'm going to be doing mine in some Christmas colors today so you can see the difference really well. So I've got my two 11s and I'm going to go under the thread. So we're going to do a little bit of a brick stitch here. So I'm going to go under both of the threads. Now I'm going to pull. And you want these to sit side by side just like this. And I'm going to go up through the second bead that I added, which is this one right here, and pull that thread. If it gets a little loose, you can pull the tail thread so it'll keep these nice and tight right here. I'm going to pick up 111. I'm going to go under the threads, both threads. And I'm going to go up through the bead I just added. So now I have three beads on here. I want to continue until I have seven total 11s. So you pick up one, go under both threads, Okay, so that's four. Five. Six. And one more. So we have our total of seven. And you can adjust it a little bit if you need to, if they're not exactly even. So this is what I've got thus far. Now, we're going to be adding embellishments to all of these 11s. So I'm coming out of the last bead that I added. And the first thing I'm going to do is pick up 8 of my 15s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
eight of my 15s and I'm gonna go back through the same 11 that I'm coming out of. So I'm just gonna go right back through the same bead. I'm going back through it, going towards the pearl so that it makes a little loop as so. I'm gonna come up through my next 11. So I'm just gonna come right up through the next 11. I'm not going under any threads or anything like that. I'm just going right through the next 11. And this time, I'm gonna pick up 10 15s. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Same thing. I'm gonna come right back through the bead I added, and I'm gonna go it, through it going towards the pearl. So now that makes two loops. Come up through the next bead. So first one was eight, next one was 10. So the next one is going to be 12. So we're gonna pick up 12, 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing. I'm gonna come right back through that 11 going towards the eight millimeter. And then through the next 11. So I've added eight, 10, 12. I'm in my center 11, so this time I'm gonna pick up 16. Now that I have my 16, I'm going to come right back through the same 11 and then up through the next 11. So I started out 8, 10, 12, 16 was my very center here. So now I'm going to just reverse the count. So on this 11 I'm working on, I'm going to pick up the 12 15s. So I've got 12 15s. I'm going to come right back through the 11 and then up through the next one. So the next one I'm going to do is going to have 10, just like this one over here. So I'll pick up my 10. And I'm going to come right through the 11. And then my final one is going to be 8. I'm going to go through the 11, and then I'm going to continue right on through the bead. So I'm going through the 11, and then straight through the bead. And you can press them all. Whoops! So that this is what I have so far. And right now, as you can see, my tail and my working thread are coming out of the same bead. I'm ready to make my hanger for the earring. So I'm gonna pick up 18 15s. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I'm going to let all of these drop down and I'm going to go through the 10th 15 strung. So if I picked up 18, all that means is I'm going to back up 8. So 2, 4, 6, 8. 
So it should leave me 10 on the base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go right down through that 10th bead. So I'm going through the bead going towards my pearl and pull. I'm going to put my fingers on it and pull that down so that it all goes down to the little base here. And now I'm going to pick up 9 15s. And once I get those nine, I started my hanger on this side, so I'm going to come right back through the pearl again and pull it and get it even, nice and even, so that I have my semi-completed earring. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to reinforce this hanging part one more time and then tie the thread I went off. ahead and completed both earrings so that you could see those. Now all I'm going to do is pay, take a pair of ear hooks and I'm going to open the ear hook, slide on the loop of the earring, and then close the ear hook. So that you have a really simple and cute earring that is really quick to make. Now, some of you, um, if you are really tight stitcher like I am, some of your loops might look a little tight. And it's completely okay. All you want to do is just sit them somewhere hanging up for a day and let gravity do its work. And it will help bring those down a little bit so that they won't look so stiff. Um, this is a color kit that we will have for sale. Um, we'll do one in the peacock colors, which is this teal blue and the green. And then, this is my one of my favorites. This is the bronze with um, the green kind of AB color. I think it's called Higher Metallic Olive. So those will be three um, color kits, and we'll have a black one available on our website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and learning how to make these peacock earrings. We do have the pattern available on our website, which is off the beadedpathbeadstore.com or in our Etsy shop on Etsy.com that you can purchase. Plus, we'll have kits in four different color schemes that you can purchase. All the kits this time will come with a printed pattern, so that way you can get right to work on these and have a blast. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.